Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel English Superstars. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon first. Today we are going to talk about pressy writing. What is pressy writing? What are the key elements of pressy writing? And then we are going to talk about the title. How to give the title in the pressy writing. Let's start. First of all, we are going to talk about pressy. Pressy writing means communicating information clearly and accurately using brief and exact language. That means you need to minimize ambiguity and unnecessary details from the passage. Alright, what are the key elements? As in my previous video, I talked about clarity, accuracy, and provision, and the structure. So you need to keep in mind all these while writing a pressy. Choose your words wisely, no repeat stuff, edit like a pro and stay on the topic. Stick to what the passage is talking about and don't forget to divide the passage by 3. So you need to divide it by 3 and then count the number of words. That is a very important thing in pressy writing. Today we are going to talk about pressy examples. I am going to tell you a trick how to go about it. Let's do it. Here we have a passage right in front of us. We are going to talk about the word limit, which is here. How many words are there? 329 words, all right? Then we are going to divide it by 3, and then we are going to write the press. But before that, we are going to go for a draft and the title of pressy as well. So here, as you can see, it says, There is an enemy beneath our feet, an enemy more deadly for his complete impartiality. He recognizes no national boundaries and no political power. Everyone in the world is threatened by him. Alright, what are we talking about? The enemy is the earth itself. When an earthquake strikes, oh, okay, we're talking about earthquake. So you can underline here. The world trembles. The power of a quake is greater than anything man himself can produce. So we're talking about earthquake as an enemy beneath our feet. This is the thing that I got from this paragraph. But today, scientists are directing a great deal of their effort into finding some way of combating earthquakes. And perhaps, at some time shortly, mankind will have discovered a means of protecting itself from earthquakes. Okay, we're talking about protection from earthquakes. Alright. An earthquake strikes without warning. This is an important thing. When it does, it po its power is immense. If it strikes a modern city, the damage it causes is as great as if it has struck a primitive village. Gas means burst, explosions are caused and fires are started. Underground railways are wrecked, buildings collapse, bridges fall, dams burst and gaping services appear in busy street. Now here we are talking about all the damages done by the earth. If the quake strikes at sea, huge tidal waves. Okay, this one is talking about the sea, when it strikes in sea. Huge tidal waves sweep inland. If it strikes mountain regions, avalanches roll down into the valley. Alright, consider the terrifying statistics from the past 1755 Lisbon capital of Portugal. The city was discovered, sorry, the city was destroyed entirely and 4450 kills, 170 Peru, and so on, so on, so on. These are some of the details. In 1968, now remember, in my previous video, I told you that nomadics and statistics should remain the same. So, this is an important date over here. 1968, an earthquake struck Alaska. As this was a relatively unpopulated part, only a few people were killed. But this likely was one of the most powerful quakes over the Okay, so what are we doing? We are looking at each paragraph separately and we are underlining all the important points. Here an important thing is that we are talking about earthquake as an enemy between, beneath our feet. Here we are talking about the damages it causes. Here we are talking about sea, how it affects sea. Then in 1968, how an earthquake struck Alaska. Now, geologists estimate that during the tremors, the whole of the state moved over 80 feet farther west into the Pacific Ocean. Imagine the power of something that can move an entire subcontinent. This is the problem that scientists face. They are dealing with forces so immense that man cannot hope to resist them. All that can be done is to pinpoint just where the earthquake will strike and move from there. 
at least some precautionary measures can be taken to save lives and some properties. Now here we're talking about the precautionary measures. How many words are there? 328. Let's divide 328 by 3. 328 divided by 3 is 109 words. Alright. So you can be less than that, not more than that. Let's talk about the first step. First step is to make a rough draft. In the first paragraph, it talks about earthquake as the worst enemy of mankind. Then the damages it causes without warning. Then the scientists are finding ways to combat the disasters. Then how damaging it can be for life and properties. Then what are the statistics that were reported, right? Remember 1968? So what were the statistics that were recorded and how terrible they were and how Alaska moved over 80 feet farther to the Pacific Ocean. So these are the important points that you underline and you write it on the site. Next step is to think of a title. Now, when I think of a title, I think that earthquake, the enemy beneath our feet. Now, from where I have taken this line? I have taken this line from the passage. You can also say earthquake, a natural disaster. You can also say earthquake, mm, killing people's life, right? So, trembling our feet. So, anything that you think is best suitable, you suggest a title first. Second step. After suggesting a title, which is the third step, and according to that second step here in the Pressy is that you start writing the Pressy. Remember when we divided 329 by 3, it was 109.66. But here we have only 84 words. And what is written? An earthquake is one of the worst enemies of mankind as it causes great damage to life and property. Statistics have reported that the intensity of earthquakes can be so terrible that that can move an entire continent. Alaska moved over 80 feet farther west into the Pacific Ocean when an earthquake struck in 1968. Scientists are finding ways to combat the disaster, but the problem is that it strikes without warning, and only precautionary measures can be taken to save to save life and property. That's all. We have 84 words here. So what was the first step? First step was to go for a fi first draft. Underline first draft, suggest a title, then write the pressy and count the words. That's it, done. I have an activity for you. There is an example number two. Pause the video here, stop it here, don't go further, okay? And suggest a title about it, rough draft, and after that, write the pressy and see the number of words. So if words are 171 divided by 3, it should be less than 57 words. So cap your words till 50 and see can you do it. Okay, I hope you paused the video and now let's discuss this. Here we are talking about discipline, the most important problem, religion, social, moral and economic patterns that people, you know, it, it's very complex, it varies. Discipline is necessary at all, but how to go about discipline? It all talks about it. So rough draft, according to me, is that discipline is disliked by many. Discipline molds our minds and habits. Discipline should not be treated as an imposition and discipline is an outcome of good habits. It causes something good. The title I suggest is The Importance of Discipline. And the pressy, just in 30 words, not even 50. Although many people detest discipline, it is crucial in molding our lives and habits. It should not be treated as an imposition, but rather a natural outcome of good habits. That's all. See, it's less than thir it's less than 50, which is 30 words. Such amount of words to explain everything that was done in the paragraph. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you like it. See you again. Allah Hafiz.